Hello, uh, my name is Michael Glass from eMediaTradingCoach.com and we're going to start off with our disclosures for the video. Certainly understand any type of investing involves risk and that any investment decision you make is certainly your own responsibility and that you should trade at your own risk. So we're here to kind of look at our trading plan for this weekend, uh, Saturday, October 16, 2010. And in order to do that, we want to take a look at some of the key events of the past week. Uh, the market didn't end up for the week, not that much. We did have some consolidation this week, but third quarter, uh, we did stay above the 11,000 range. That's a psychological uh, number. And our third quarter earnings, for the most part, have been strong. Intel, after the close on Tuesday, was great, raised their gu guidance. Google, after the close on Thursday, just crushed their uh, expectations. Um, JP Morgan of Financial did underperform, and some of the uh, mortgage uh, moratorium way down on financials so uh, uh, we we had great pre-market activity on Google and then it fell back same thing on Thursday we fell back which is interesting because the the announcement about the uh, mortgage uh, potential moratorium for close happened on Wednesday and of course the pundits took the down move on Thursday and a little bit of yesterday's consolidation they, they blamed it on that uh, but the market continues to look at the quantitative easing QE2 uh, and the minutes uh, at 2 o'clock on Tuesday kind of basically led to the fact that we will see some more. And thus, uh, the dollar uh, weakened on that as we pump more money in. And gold took off. We will look to what's going on this upcoming week. We can see that we have some great earnings. All on Monday, Citigroup before the market open, Apple and IBM after uh, market close. And then we got the other banks, uh, Bank of America and Goldman Sachs on Tuesday. Uh, Morgan Stanley later on in the week so we certainly have some financial big financial uh, companies that could move the market as far as the economic data um, not that much going on maybe Philly Fed on Thursday but not that much uh, from the economic front again earnings basically is driving the market and a little bit of the expectations of QE2 as far as technical analysis uh, we have some key points to look at and we're going to bring up a chart but uh, last week we talked about this and it continues to be where are we consolidating right at the May 12 swing high and of course after that we have the April uh, swing high and on a weekly chart we have resistance of the 200 simple moving average on a weekly chart underneath us we have the pre previous consolidation resistance remember uh, as we go through resistance it now becomes support that's around 1130 ish and we have the 10 exponents moving average and the 20 exponents moving average showing up as support. So let's go ahead and look at the charts to get a better look at this. Okay, so we are looking at the S&P 500 on a daily chart. And I have a couple things in dash to try to highlight for you. The first one here, this blue dashed line, that is the May 12 swing high. And you can see we kind of we did get through it on Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday of this past week did um, pause and consolidate there. So this is going to continue to be our resistance, which may become support if we break through. If we break through, we have our April swing high. That's the yellow dashed line. And so as we're moving up here, uh, that will become our target if we break through the May 12th. So those are our, our resistance levels. And then this red dashed line, uh, for, from May till we broke through in September, this was our resistance, up and down, up and down, up and down. So now this resistance should be support as it uh, as we continue to move up. And also you can see this green line is the 10 exponential moving average that I referred to. We'll blow it up a little bit for you. That is our uh, 10 exponential moving average acting as support. Um, of course, the 20 is right behind it. So those are our key support resistance levels. I am going to go ahead and switch over to the weekly chart. So you can see what I'm referring to with regards to the uh, 200 simple moving average on the weekly chart. This orange line right here coming down. Here's April of this year, and that's where we died. And uh, this is the up move from March 2009, one year up, up move. And we died at the 200 simple moving average. And basically, that 200 simple moving average is right above us. So that's, again, something that we have to watch for. Now, I'm going to go back to the daily chart. And we can see we talked about this last week, and now we're really starting to see it. 
that our indicators are SOAP, Stochastics, uh, RSI, MACD, all of them are basically in the overbought level. So the, our, our daily chart is showing for a, a, uh, a pullback. When we go to a longer time frame, our monthly chart, uh, they are showing that we have still have some more room to go. So if you're a dual time frame trader, our longer term saying we have more room to go, when our shorter time frame, the daily, swings back up, that is sort of a confirmation of a signal. And you can see the same thing here. We're above the downtrend line. Uh, there's that May 12th and there's that April. So we're doing pretty good on the uh, monthly chart. 200 moving average acting as support. We are above the psychological 50 moving average. So uh, we have a little bit more room to go in a monthly. Our daily chart says we need a pullback. So in Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom, Dr. Van Tharp had a quote from uh, Tom Bassett, which basically said, the more you understand the concept you are trading, how it may behave under all sorts of market conditions, the less hysterical testing you need to do. And he goes on to say that probably 20% of the people trading the market have a guide, have a trading plan. And of those do, less few of those people actually understand the concept behind their trading. They bought a, a, a trading system, they bought a robot, they found some indicators, some system, and they bought it because it was successful for the person who created it, but it doesn't mean that you'll be successful trading it. Because as he goes on to say, when you find a concept, a trading system that fits you, that you understand, that you're able to uh, manipulate no matter what the market condition is, then you'll be successful because you're trading who you are, you're not trading somebody else. You have to understand the concept thoroughly, you have to more importantly match it to who you are as a trader and make sure that you're able to trade it under, under conditions, any conditions, because too many people go out there and buy indicators, I've done it, buy systems, I've done it, but they're successful for the person, that doesn't mean they'll be successful for you because you've got to take every trade that that system calls for or you ruin the results, you ruin the statistics, you ruin the pool because you're not taking every trade, you just haven't taken the trades that didn't work and saying that the system is not successful when it's really you. So, we, you know, we got some resources for you. You can check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We've got some great videos and articles. And of course, come to our website, to our blog, and we've got some great free articles for you. Um, you know about our video series. We have a three-video series uh, curriculum for you. The first part of that video is about the building blocks of trading. Then we start to get into the trading pan components, uh, how to find direction in the market, locations to trade, the triggers for the trade, and more importantly, how to manage the trade once you're in. And then we go to our third part of that video curriculum where we talk about all setups being equal, which goes back to what we just talked about. It's not the setups, it's your ability to trade the setups. Uh, market internals, and of course, routine the habits of successful traders. But the best way to get there is not about the system, it's not about the indicator, it's about developing yourself as a trader. So our primary product is, is our mentorships, where we work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you develop a personalized trading plan. Uh, we have a great relationship with Global Futures. You can get 20 free contracts. There's a link for that. And, you know, again, because we believe so much in being prepared and so much in our co coaching, we did find a relationship for stock training uh, software, stock reflex. And I heard Lou Holtz say this a couple weeks ago, that pressure is having to deal with something you haven't prepared for. If you're doing like the uh, professional athletes and you're, you have a preseason, you're out there practicing before the game, then you'll be prepared for the actual market. So this is a way for you to train yourself to be prepared for no, no matter what the market conditions are. Because in the end, it doesn't really matter. This is kind of our slogan. If you purchase a system, if you find a latest indicator, or if you can find a high probability setup, if in the end you don't pull the trigger. And that's what we as coaches at E-Mini Trade Coach are here to help you to do. Pull the trigger.